Hello everyone, welcome back to the Football Stadium Show YouTube channel and welcome to a brand new match day vlog. Tonight I'm off to Meadow Park, home to Boreham FC as they'll be taking on a Chelsea 11 in a pre-season friendly. Usually when a non-league side meets up with a Premier League team like tonight, the Premier League side send out a team of academy players. However, this is only partly true in this case as World Cup winner N'Golo Kante and England international Ruben Loftus-Cheek will also feature for the Blues tonight after not travelling out to the USA for Chelsea's first team American tour. It should be a great test for the Boronwood team, should attract a huge crowd to Meadow Park and I'm really looking forward to seeing how they get on. Let's go. As soon as we got into the ground, everyone was crowding around one section of it, and that was where Kante was warming up. Seven, Ngolo Kante. <laughs> Chelsea and Kante kept on getting the ball and seemed very dominant when holding it and rarely lost possession. Chelsea kept counter-attacking throughout the first half with these sudden spurts of energy Nothing came of In the 25th minute, Williams were tripped up in the box and a penalty was awarded to the wood. Tyrone Marsh made no mistake from the spot and slotted it into the right hand corner to make it 1-0. Warrenwood kept on creating loads of chances to try and make it 2-0. As the first half was coming to an end I decided to get myself a burger and chips. Recently the famous lunchbox at Warrenwood shut down which was quite upsetting, however the new place is really really nice. Oh, 
just before half time, Castle Dean smashed the ball into the back of the net to get Chelsea the equaliser. And that was all for the first half. The first 45 minutes ended in one. Soon enough, the two teams were back out on the pitch, ready to start again. Both teams immediately brightened up, especially Boreham Wood looking way better than the first half. And straight away, Chelsea took the lead, with Davies' strike taking deflection off the defender, leaving the goalkeeper stranded. In the 73rd minute, Chelsea got another goal to make it 3-1 with Hall's initial shot being saved by the keeper and Davies there to tap it in to get his second for the game. Boron Wood replied with waves of attack, but just couldn't score. In the 81st minute, Chelsea got another goal to make it 4-1, which would surely wrap up the win, Burstow hitting home from the edge of the box. After coming off, Kante did go around the ground, signing shirts and taking pictures, which thought it was a really nice gesture. In the 90th minute, all of Boronwood's hard work finally came into the form of a second goal, Mendy hitting home first time into the bottom corner, although it turned out to be only a consolation goal as the referee straight after blew the whistle for full time, the game ending 4-2 to Chelsea. Well that's the end of yet another video and I really hope you have enjoyed watching. In the end Chelsea did come out on top winning the game 4-2. Uh, the game I thought was decent, you can't expect too much for a pre-season friendly so six goals for me as a neutral was a pretty good result and I hope it did come out in the video too that the game was quite good. Uh, in the first half I thought both teams played quite uh, sort of restricted and uh, quite safe. I know Boronwood are quite well known for playing around the back and not really attacking too much. Uh, but Chelsea, especially with Loftus-Cheek and Kante and the team, I thought they'd be a little bit better. But when they came off in the second half uh, with all youngsters on the pitch for Chelsea, they really did brighten up and in the end, like I just said, scored four goals overall. If you did enjoy watching, please make sure to like, subscribe, share and comment and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.